And so you need to understand that winning's a habit and the things that we've done to put ourselves in places to win become habitual. So let's go and do those things well, put them under pressure, and when we get our opportunities, we walk it in. Okay? You've got to have a little bit of arrogance about yourself. Be humble absolutely to our opposition, but this is our home. So go out there and show it. I asked you girls a question uh, back at Ballet Hall. Why? Why are you here? Why do you do it? I've asked myself the same question. Why am I here? I've got an answer for you. I didn't love this state. When I was a young boy, all I wanted to do was play for Queensland, play for the Reds. And I was not good enough. I wished I was, but you know what, I wasn't. And I look at the 25 of you in here, who are good enough, who are actually living my dream. I went down a different path. I became a coach. Didn't think I was any good at it. But I told the way, and I told the way, and I told the way. And I got given an opportunity. Well, I can tell you, I've grabbed it with both hands and don't want to let it go. I now want to be the best coach I can be. Why? Because I want to make you the best players you can be. So you fill your dream. Let's go out there today and live that dream and be the best we can be. Just having a look now, they're concerned about this big thunderstorm that's coming in. There's a little bit of lightning around. We'll just listen to what Jess Ling has to say here. Close off. Um, they've had three strikes within five kilometres. We have to call them off. Is that full time for um, We're just going to treat it as a delay at the moment and see if we can fit it in before the appropriate time itch. Okay. So just call, we're going to call them in. Yep. Safety, the players. Paramount Shannon, here. Bessie. They've had too much lightning within the five, three lightnings within five kilometres. So we're going to take a little break. Yep. And then hopefully once the lightning's moved, we can recontinue. Yep. Otherwise the score will stand. So a delay of game because of lightning strikes within five kilometres. Safety, the players, paramount. They measure it based on multiple strikes within that zone. And it has that condition has been met. The game hasn't been abandoned yet. Uh, we're going to be taking a break in alignment with the rules and the regulations of the game. As we got a bit of a heads up uh, about that lightning delay and, and a possible storm delay uh, through RA uh, the day before on Thursday. So I, I got to get my head around it a little bit and come up with some, uh, some strategies of how we would deal with it. But when it happened, I, I would have thought, mate, I thought we were on getting on top of the Brumbies. I thought we'd executed our game plan. I thought our fitness was starting to come to, to the forefront. So it probably hurt us a bit more than it hurt them because it allowed them to regather. But we just took the girls in the sheds, we had units meetings, and then we got them into the, the big change room and, and got them active and got them moving, tried to keep them warm, got a ball in their footy and kept it really light. And then when we got out to do our five minute warm up, we got through that with a little bit of gusto and seriousness. Uh, and the girls went out there and, and executed it again. Did it go all of our own way? No, it didn't but I was very happy with them doing it because it was the first time that they had experienced something like that as well. Well, I think we have to stay, as coaches, we have to stay true to our concepts and, and what we started at the beginning. We're, we're pretty happy with what we're doing. It's about getting the girls to see it. So for this week, for instance, we've just changed a few things up. Rather than hearing my voice all the time, the players are gonna run the week. So the players in various groups are going to do a, a review to their peers. And I'm hoping that coming from their fellow players, they'll understand it's coming from a good place that they want them to get better because they see the potential that we have. I've said it before, I believe we can win this. I believe we're good enough. But we haven't hit our peak yet. We've still got things to improve on and things to connect better. So hopefully this week with the players running uh, the review and running training on uh, Wednesday and Friday um, and we're going to do a, a bit of a group cultural session on Saturday night whilst we're in Sydney before the game, I think we can get a better connection and that can help us play better and, and play for each other better on the field. That could be the key that we need to open up our potential.
So SJC Constructions has been going since about uh, 2013, I think, somewhere around there. Um, and I've, I've had varying apprentices through East Rugby Union that have uh, done their time through me and now moved on to do their, their own thing. Um, but the time came that, that my middle son, Max, um, he finished school and, and he decided that he wanted to follow in my footsteps and uh, become a carpenter. So Max has been with me now for about uh, 18 months. Uh, so he's a second year apprentice and we have a lot of fun working together. It's, some people say is it really hard to work with your son and then go home and live with him. Um, well, probably worse for Max because we work together, we, we live in the same household and, and we uh, play rugby or coach and play rugby at the same club. So I don't know what he's going to have to say but I really enjoy, enjoy working with him mate, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we get along pretty well. Yeah, I swear dad's a, a big part of my life at the moment and um, always has been but now probably more so than ever. We, uh, we work together, he's my coach at the moment for East. He's um, doing a little bit of stuff with us in the Reds Academy, obviously live with him. I, yeah, I wouldn't say I'd change it for anything. Um, it's definitely good having that mentor, both with the work side of things and um, the footy side of things. Bit of a hard ass sometimes, but it's certainly helping me in both, both my footy and my work. So I'd say I love it. Um, yeah, the Super W has, um, I'd say it's changed out a fair bit, to be honest, because he's uh, always been a bit of a tough character, but um, working with the, the women's team now over the past few years, he's sort of, I wouldn't say softened up, but looked at things in a different, with a different approach. Um, he's now sort of looking at coaching, realizing that there's multiple ways to go about the same thing, and you don't need to, he doesn't need to be so angry and tough all the time, but there's a time and place for it, and there's a time and place for just a arm around the shoulder and a soft word. So I'd say it's 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 made him a better coach for sure. I'd been working with the women at East uh, when Tyrell Barker was the head coach there. I was doing their contact and their scrum for them, and I learnt that they're uh, they're really really good to work with. They just want to learn. They want to be coached properly. They don't want to be treated like women or differently, they want to be treated like rugby players. So when the opportunity came up to be an assistant coach with the, the Red Super W team, I actually thought this is something that I could do and something that I, I could do really well. So I got in and had a go at it and really enjoyed it, mate. And as I said to them, I remember saying to them last year that I'm, I'm here to coach rugby players to be the best player they can be. It didn't matter whether they were male or female, I just saw them as rugby players. It's good to, to look back and see, especially looking back with the family, watching, um, watching how well he's doing with them. Uh, he's working real hard at the moment with sort of running a business, coaching at East and coaching with the Super W and then also almost being a bit of a, now a trailblazer for pushing women's rugby even more because it's come a, a long way over the last few years and coming leaps and bounds further in Australia at the moment and it's enjoyable just to sit back and see all the work he's doing and how it's starting to pay off. So we just have to understand in ourselves that we are good enough and I believe that the girls are starting to get that. I saw the way that they responded uh, after the Brumbies game. I've seen the reviews and their reflection clips, the clips that they've sent through to me. They believe that they are good enough. So I think we're more than halfway there. The trick is now just putting that belief together in a game for a full 80 minutes on Sunday.